Okay, so bare basics. I'm gonna teach you how to make an FNF mod. So what you wanna do first is let's say let's say you wanna make a sprite. So let's let's make a little a little stick figure guy. So if you're gonna make a circle, if I could draw the circle. You draw a circle and then let's make I don't know. Let's let's oh I also you click the brush and I use paint by I'm using twenty nineteen right now, so you just you wanna say that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna color him in and then let's give him a white head like that. So you're gonna wanna just click the whole frame. So you're just gonna wanna click this, then click F eight and then rename it to make sure it's a graphic and then name it to head. And then you can just click backspace. It's still there. And then it's but it's gone. So then now let's make oops wait. Um I don't know, yeah, the body. And let's make the body. So then you're gonna wanna just draw this. And then this. And then you have your little body. And then you're gonna wanna change his give him a blue shirt and then name click F eight again and then name it to body, make sure it's a graphic. And then you can get rid of it. And then now you're gonna want to do is click the head in the body, and then this is how I do it. And then you're gonna want to click it, move it in place a bit. And then you're gonna want to just click F8. Uh, you're gonna want to click the frame, F8, and then name it idle. I use the lower cases so it makes it easier. So then if you double click it, now get rid of the head. You don't need it. Now you're gonna make a new layer. Put the head on here. Yeah, I could have probably made this simpler, but you know, I don't usually think things through. And then name your layers. You can, you just double click the layer, and you could just type. So I'm gonna name this head, and then I'm gonna name this one body. So then now we make the arms. So we make uh, something like this. Oops, nope, uh, like this. Now if I can draw the hand, what about this? Uh, I can't draw the hand. There we go, it's a decent looking hand. And then, I'm gonna make that invisible, and then I'm gonna just use the eyedropper, get his hand in there. And then boom, and then color it in. Then there, you should have the arm on a separate layer. And then what you're gonna do? Click the frame, F8, and then you're gonna do arm. This makes it a single symbol, so it's still in here. So because also here's what symbols do. Let's let's say you wanna like if you, let's say you just animated the whole thing and you wanna like draw. I don't know, give my hair a bit of hair on the back. It's, it stays the same for everything, so you don't have to manually draw it over and over again. So you have your arm and body, and then you're going to make your last one. You actually need to make the microphone, so you're just going to... I'm going to just give him a red mic. So let's just draw an easy microphone. Make the body invisible real quick. Then, boom. Get your mic. Well, almost. You need to color in the hand. And stuff. Um, there we go. Just a paint bucket that, and then oh, click this down arrow, and then I, I usually just click 400 sometimes, and then boom, you have yourself you zoomed in. So it makes it easier to draw. Add in some of those finer details. I'm not gonna focus too much on detail in this though, but I will add like you know your a um shoot what was it a uh a shadows yeah i will add shadows though so you're just gonna make take uh, let's make his mic yeah let's just go back with red so you just maybe grab a red any dark red whatever color you want to use sometimes i go with a red or gray and then wait hold on did i use I, yeah i used the right colors and then and then just color it in with the paint behind brush, or you could use paint bucket, whatever is simpler for you. Oh wait, hold on, I messed up on his arm here. See, this is what's nice about symbols, you can edit them whenever. 
and they don't really cost too much time. So then boom, it's fixed. So then we click F8 and name this Mike. I usually that's what I named the Mike. Yeah. Now for the last one, the head, the face, the head and the face should be different because the face will move more. So let's make. Um, let's. Uh, I should make that and then just do F8 and then face. So then uh, let's name this layer face and then let's name this layer mic and this one arm. Now, see, see, see now he's all drawn. You got all his body parts in there. Zoom about 200. So now we gotta move these. So I'm gonna move these in place. I'm gonna click this and then I'm gonna shift click hold shift and then left click on this so it holds grabs both layers and then i'm going to edit these a bit to where they semi look like they it's like a starting position because here's what fnf here's what they do in fnf they instead of them starting like this they'll bounce they'll start in like a lower thing and then they'll slowly tween into their base animation so for example let me put his arm dot here so i know where his arm is so, boom. So now you're gonna want to hold this, left click, drag down. Actually, let's start out with the body. Actually, so just left click. Make sure you skip one of these gray boxes. Click the other one. Now, boom. So this one should be like two little squares. You're gonna want to just mostly animate on twos. Now, I don't know. I don't remember what 2022 or 2021 Adobe has, but you're gonna look for onion skinning. It should look something like this. It should something look like this. And you hover over it, it says onion skin. You're going to click that. This is so much easier. So you're going to move his body a bit. And that's it. That's all you do. Do the same thing you did last time. Skip over one. So they, they should look like they're two, like a square. And then boom. And then all you do is you drag this a bit more. But then you hold shift. And then you left click on this little square. And then boom. He's been dragged up pull this up a bit and then you're gonna do that again and do nothing with it go to frame just like click f4 and then when it says 14 wherever it says right here keep it stop it at 14 and that's how far you want to do so you have your little body done so the body's done now we do the mic so we click the keyframe again but we move him a bit this way and then we move it here so now if we look it's like he's pulling up. Then you do this. And then you drag it a bit. I'm using the arrow keys to move it pixel by pixel. Or you could just use a base hand like this tool. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the free transform tool. It allows you to like make it easier. And then boom, you're gonna skip one more, do nothing with it, and press F5. So like the body is only three because it doesn't move much. It's just the body. Sometimes you, I suggest not doing the legs separately unless you're like doing sometimes like a hoodie one or whatever. Depends on what you're animating. Then the arm. So I'm gonna turn it a bit, and then I'm gonna pull him up just a bit. So I'm gonna drag him right up here. Then we move the arm here again. We pull it a bit, and then we drag it up here. Then that's it. It usually, if it's connected to the body, it should stay the same frame. So, like the mic is gonna move different and differently. It's probably gonna look pretty choppy due to me. Yeah, it looks choppy, but eh, whatever. It's not gonna look perfect. Not everything's gonna look perfect. Okay, but that is annoying. I'm gonna drag this back a bit. Hold on. I'm gonna move it like this. So then. Uh, oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I gotta remove these frames. I usually double click and then right click. Keyframe, yeah. You're gonna mess up sometimes when you're animating sprites. It happens a lot. There. So now you have the body. Now you do the head. So you're gonna wanna drag up when you left click. Click keyframe. Then usually what this does, it just it selects both of them for you, so they animate at the same time. So then do this about a solid four times. And then 
turn this last one up a little bit more. And then last one, keep it the same. And then boom, now here's what you wanna do. You have the idle done. So now you're gonna wanna move the head like this. You're gonna wanna use your arrow keys. And when you click the frame, click down and then right. And then you're gonna do that for every single frame. So it's a little bit off centered. There. At least that's how I want them to look like. So then there, you have your idle done. So then if you look in here, and then let's say you let's let's put this frame at like 14. Put this at frame 14. I'm gonna turn on loop. And now I mean it could be better. I've made better. But for a test, it's actually pretty okay. Now Here's what you're gonna do. Now click, look for library, look for these the symbol you named idle, right click, duplicate, and then name this one right. So once you click OK and you double click it, it should just be the exact same on how you did the idle. Now here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna just zoom in by 200. See now you have this. So now what you're gonna do is look for this the top right. Hold left click and then just drag down. Right click, remove frames. So now it's all gone. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna you're gonna wanna draw him singing. See now for example, let's say yeah, so we're on our right pose, so it's gonna be doing he's gonna be singing this way. And then so you're gonna wanna move your head like this. Usually I hand draw the f the the faces, so what I do is I usually draw them like this, and then I paint bucket it. So now, and then we you just edit it until it looks like how you want it for a right, like a right animation. So treating. So now you have this, right? So you have all your body parts fixed together. Now drag down and click keyframe. So you drag down for all of them. So now what you're gonna wanna do, I need to turn on these again, is now just slowly make it look like they snap back in the plate, like they snap in the, they're snapping uh, into the, left. so they start out out of place and then they pull into place. So the head, then the face, I'm gonna click the layer and then click backspace. So then it deletes the whole thing. And then just redraw it and then make them all smaller so it looks like he, it's like dying down then you're just going to want to extend it to frame 14 and just f5 and then boom you have your right Ooh, wait i need to fix the arm the arm is out of place see this is this nice and then see if you look at it and then there so you have your right and your idle. So then if we if we drag in our right, then I'm gonna turn on my loop, and then boom, he's he's singing. So you have your right done. Now you're gonna do your left. So now you just right click, duplicate again, and then click left. So then you have your left. So now it's already the same as your right. So you're gonna wanna duplicate your right. So then you have the same frames again, but do the same thing you did with the idle. Drag down, make sure you have two frames left. Make sure you have two frames at, at most. Try to keep at least two frames left. And then, so you have it all. Now you're gonna wanna make, move him into, make it look like he's singing to the left. So now we just drag his body. And then, see now you, you know, see this arm? It doesn't really fit on how I want it. So I'm gonna click backspace. It doesn't get rid of it. So now what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna draw a whole nother separate little like arm thing. Oops, I messed up already. I'm gonna draw a whole separate arm thing, right? If I could draw it right. Hold on, I'm gonna make these invisible really quick because you know, my pea brain just can't comprehend it. There we go, that's good. Actually, I like this. So then now, if we have it like this, I'm gonna move it a bit, make just draw it however you like it. Or you could draw it like down like this, however you want it. 
So now that I have that done, I'm going to color in his hand. Let's use pink, like shadows, paint bucket, and then change to white. Boom, boom. There. And then now that you have this, drag the rest of his parts in the plate, delete the face. So now for left, left faces, what you're going to want to do is make it seem like they're like one eye is like pinched in. So like this. So then there, it's pinched in. Then you're going to drag down, key for, oops, hold on. I forgot. Also, make if you make a new body part, turn it into a symbol. So let's do open hand. So I know which one it is. You're gonna don't keep them like too long, and then don't keep them too vague. So don't do like hand one, hand two. But then also, if you're having a lot of hands, then yes, do that. I suggest that, or just keep them symbols. Don't even bother like editing them. And then goes like especially for big FLAs, like spit like master FLAs. Master FLAs are things where they contain all the animations for everything. So you're just gonna move them, make it seem like he's snapping a little bit into his idol again, because he starts out pose and then he goes into pose. Like for the right, and then you're just gonna move it a bit to where it looks like you draw the face again, so where his eyes back in normal, but his mouth is a little bit more closed in. So it's like he like snaps his mouth shut like, I, like that, I, I mean, you can't see me, but you know, you'll get the gist. They extend it to 14 frames, then boom. And then that's your left done. So if we click left on the symbols and then drag it onto our canvas, it should look something like this. And let me see if I could like put it in place. So turn on loop and it should, yeah, actually, I'm um, see I'm gonna edit the face of it. So let's say I just I'm gonna put it back into like closed eye form like that. There. So now you have that done. So now let's do the up. And so honestly in my opinion I like doing the up. The up is like it it kinda gives a little bit more freedom. So you're gonna duplicate I'm gonna duplicate the left, whatever whatever animation you want to duplicate. It doesn't really matter. So you have that done. I'm gonna zoom in to remove these frames. So now, see now I don't want this body anymore. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna make a keyframe again, because you know, I'm not the best I remember sizes. And then you're just gonna wanna do this. Let's just make him look like he's like, like putting his feet up higher to make himself taller. Oops, that's a little bit too skinny. Then I can just go into here, boom, paint bucket. I'm gonna remove this frame. And then I click F5 to add a single frame. So then I just put them back in place. And then the arm, I'm gonna add a new arm. Then let's say, let's say this time I want to put the mic over the head, so it looks like he's holding it up. You can move the layers so they see what, like which ones. So let's say the the body is over the um. Oops. So let's say you want the body over the head too. So then you just do this. So then it looks like he's actually going up. So it looks like his head is facing up. Oops. Hold on. I need to double click this so I grab everything. Eight. Let's go body up there, and then now you have so the arm. So now for the arm, what I'm gonna do is I want it to be like a fist. I want to. Oh wait, yeah, I need to pull up the body a bit so it's like not out of place or whatever. So body, put this in place. Oh wait, oops. I don't know how I want it to look. Something like this. There we go. That's good. Look at nice. I really hope I'm recording. Am I recording? You just need to double check. Okay. I, you just, sometimes you gotta check too, because man has a habit a lot to me, to where I haven't recorded. And you're just gonna draw this back in place. 
and then paint bucket like the usual like you did for the other ones and then click F8 and then let's do arm up so there oh I need to fix his leg a bit also the yeah, Adobe will do this thing where it will like try to smooth your lines but it will mess them up more sometimes you're gonna have to manually edit them so they don't look as terrible or bad and then for the up so what you're gonna do is make it look like he has his mouth wide open and then give him closed eyes like up or down depending on how happy he is or just like this if he's like really excited like closed eyes and I'm gonna give him like a little bit of an angry face like this a little eyebrow and then there and then we paint bucket the mouth so now we drag down boom and then we snap these back in place so we shift click extend the body a bit I'm gonna drag this little dot down it depends on how like where you want to squeeze it so I really never, like I don't know how to explain it I'm not the best when it comes to explaining and then I'm just gonna rotate everything like to where it looks like it's going to snap back in place so let's do something like this and then for the face I'm gonna delete this and then and draw the little eyes and an eyebrow and then extend it to 14 frames I usually keep my things at 14 frames because that's what base BF is at so now we drag our up into place see it's a little bit taller than all of them so now look at that so you have th four out of five animations done now we duplicate the up the up is like the down is pretty much like the same as up so we duplicate and then we go down so then we go into here and then do the same process as we did for the last three animations remove the frames I'm gonna delete the oops. I'm gonna delete the face. And then now for the body. So for example, I want him to be face. I want him to like be squeezing down. So it's so like this. So something like this. So just draw that in, and then grab his shirt, and then boom. And then I just remove this frame. F5. And then the arm. I'm going to delete the arm. And then. And then I'm going to just slowly put this back in place. And there. And then I'm going to just paint bucket this white because there's not really any shadow that you could see. It's only under the hand. You can add extra detail if you want, but I suggest trying not to make it too hard on yourself. And then we do the head. Wait, why is the head at the very bottom? That's weird. And then we just move it down. Let's say, you know what? I'm going to give him a new mic too. So let's give him, let's put it in like under... Actually, let's put it over the head, and then let's draw this a little bit. And we draw in the lines, and then we just color it in, just like we did for the last one. There, draw that in and color the rest in pretty simple then we grab our pink and then we do the rest i'm not really trying to go for detail too much and then for the down there are a lot of faces you could do for down but for this time i'm gonna go with one close i'm gonna go with one closed eye and then like one Actually, let's go with two closed eyes, like this. 
and then we do a keyframe boom just like last one oh for down you're gonna make the mouth a little bit smaller a little bit further away and i'll just squeeze widen the eyes a bit like that and then it should like that and then you're gonna just move the r oops uh did i not make these two symbols oops yeah that's gonna happen a lot if, and so remove these i forgot to make these symbols so let's name this down body then the oops and then name this one down mic okay that should have did nothing okay that's weird down mic there and then we go back to the, oh it's because i apparently didn't press i so then we bring this up a bit bring his head up a bit the arm definitely bring that up a bit more i'm not gonna you don't have to turn everything into a symbol if you're not gonna change it if you know you're not gonna change it then i suggest like not turning everything into a symbol but it does help i just suggest turning most things into symbols i just didn't turn the arm into a symbol because i forgot to and i don't really want to change it because i i'm pretty happy in how it looks unless you like really like debating on if you want to change it then don't okay so then let's change the mouth like this and then boom you have your down so then look for your down drag it onto the canvas and just put it where you think it will fit best and then you have all your animations that's all of them so now what you're gonna do is click this little thing that says new folder look for folder icon click it and name it sings so you put that and then look for every single animation you did so i'm gonna look for right i'm gonna look for left up down and idle and right and then idle and then there should be five in here so you're gonna shift click shift, usually it's gonna be from down to up right click generate sprite sheet and you're gonna click that now make sure now you're gonna to want to go to your set D data format change it to Sparrow v2 and that gives you an XML so you're gonna browse and then let's say for you know look for whatever whatever thing you're using so like for psych look for your mode I'm gonna look for 6.1 psych engine mods go to your mod and then go to images characters and now let's name this guy, let's name him Bob. Let's name him Bob. And then click save. And then export. Now you should have it in there. So now you're just going to open up Psych Engine. Let's see, now you got that in. So, click 7. Make sure you have your mod selected. I don't have many mods, so it's just this one. Editor. Now you should be able to move your mouse. Click this little arrow thing that goes down. Now look for mom. Just base mom. Click care image name file. Click this. Delete mom underscore assets and named it. We name it whatever you wrote your you named your image before you export it. So we named him Bob. So we click Bob. Type in Bob. Reload image. And then there, you got a little bob. Now sometimes, yeah, they're going to be a little bit wrong sizing. That's why most people use BF as a reference. You see, now it says idle error. Or, so you're going to want to click, go to animations, and then click the little scroll wheel, and then click idle. Click animation XML or TXT file. So the, we named this, as it wasn't named mom idle, it was named idle. So you're going to name it idle, and then click add slash update, and then boom. And then you're going to click the down arrow, click left, delete this on XML, left, boom, do the same thing for right, right, then down, and up, and there. 
So now that you have only also use J L I K to move the camera. So now that you have that in, now you're gonna wanna click this other the animation ghost and click idle. So now you have all of these in. Use these arrow keys. Also use shift to move it 10. And use the arrow keys to set them in place so he like sings all neatly and he's not like out of bounds or something like this. He should be pretty close to where he was beginning at. So you're gonna change it a bit. And especially if you're using like the same symbols, then just really use the same things. So then there, now that you have all those in, now go to character again. See, now I'm gonna scale him up by maybe one. See, he's really big, he's bigger now. So now let's go to icon, health icon name. Let's, I know I have, you could delete it all and this fits too, but I'm gonna go for one I named. So I think I have one lock GF there. So I have that icon. So get, get icon color. That gives you the color that the icon it mostly is. So it's mostly purple. So get purple. So then let's go to character X and Y. So you're gonna move the X and Y until it looks like he's on stage. So he's on stage and then move the camera to where like the camera will stop for him. So you don't want it to like stop right here. You want it to stop like right here, like on him. So just move the X a little bit and remove some, add a bit of Y, move Y. And then like that, and then you got mostly everything you need. You don't need to mess with anything else. I don't know what the sing animation like. This just means how long it sings for. These two dumb and this just makes him like. Do you want it to not look smooth? And then this one just flips the X and like literally. So now that you have everything done, click save character. Now it should take you. Now look for your characters file. So you should go to Psych Engine, Mods, your mod or whatever you named it. The folder, characters. And then I'm gonna name the file Bob. And then if we click save, boom. And if we click just click escape, I want to go to a song. Let's say, let's go with this. Oh, yeah, let's go with this. Three. So we click seven, seven, and then go to a song, and then click, look for opponent. And I'll scroll until you could find Bob. Uh, where is he? Hmm. I don't see Bob. Uh. Okay, wait, this is weird. I'm gonna click enter. This is, you're gonna encounter weird okay. problems like this. Hold on. Did I not save it in the right one? I probably didn't do the, the new update. Yeah, I probably didn't. Is he in here? Hmm. CD demon, blah, blah, blah. Let me look at my folders. Ben, asset, oops, no, wrong mod. Let's go to boom. That's too much. Folder, mods, boom. Characters. Huh. Bob isn't in here. Weird. Why didn't it save? Alright, so I'm gonna have to redo him again. So I'm gonna just redo his uh, character real quick. Boom. Yeah, sometimes dumb things like this will happen. And I don't know why. It's like Genjin is just like this. See, I'm not perfect. I'm not great. And modding i'm not not like the best modder ever i i'm still learning i literally just learned how to code arrows into place so uh, down up in this up idle so left up then already up animation ghost and then just put these in place Mm -hmm. Down a set. Mm. There. Oh, right. Yep. I knew someone was missing. Scale it by one. Oops. 
Oops, wait, wrong one. Uh, boom. There we go. Icon. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Just, I'm not gonna get icon color this time, just so I can tell the difference. Or mm, let's do it anyways. Actually, there. Mom. Okay, so Bob is there. Let's save. Yes. Three, two, one, go. Now, if we check in song, a opponent, and now let's just look for Bob. Why isn't he in here? Am I using the right psych engine? I don't know. I'm not 100%. Psych engine. Yeah, this is... My horizon. Hmm. That is so weird. It says he's saved. It even showed up his file. Okay, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. I'm probably not even saving it in the right psych. I'm probably not. Look, let's go to let's go to uh this mod characters. It's not in there. Oh wait, 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 wait. I remember now. Uh boo. Wait, yep, it's right here. Sega Gen downloads. It was in the last version of this Sega I downloaded like two days ago, I think. I don't remember. It's in here, isn't it? Wrong one. There he is. Yep, I put it in the wrong psych. Yeah, make sure you put it in the right psych or mod. Or else you're gonna encounter little instances and little mess ups like this. So, wait, if he's not in here, then that means. Okay, so he was in here. So characters, we paste. And now let's restart Psych Engine. Psych Engine. Okay, that was a little bit of pick up. Oops. Okay, my horizon. Do, 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 do. Boom, opponent, and look for Bob. There he is. So now, if you select this song, Three, two, one, go. there he is. I mean, yeah, he's still a little bit small. Since he is, he's a little bit too small, he's a little bit baby man, we just up his size a bit. And to be honest, I don't really care too much about how it looks, really. I'm just really just doing it just as a test skin. This is really, usually I use skins like this as tests. So now if we check again, Three, two, one, go. there we go. It's a little bit bigger now. It's not too small. enough so yeah that's really how you make sense also yeah so the size problem it's really just because like, this is mean this, this is like the base average game window and then it's like a little bit bigger so think of it, it's like right here it's like the size of the screen really so really yeah it is the right size because also if you use like a 4k file it doesn't mean like yeah it's gonna look nice but it doesn't mean it's gonna be like really really slick and clean it usually just means like how big it is, so it means the dimensions of a 4K video. But yeah, that's usually how you make skins. You icons, I'll show how to make later. That's really all I needed was a test skin. So yeah.